Hi, my name is Tim. Today I'd like to show off one of StatSig's more unique features, and that's Pulse. Pulse is our visualization um, for seeing your experiment's results, and it does a really good job of showing you your experiment's impact across a wide range of metrics in a really easy to digest visualization. Um, this is, when you come into Pulse, it starts at the top with a little bit more of information of how your experiment, um, of what you're looking at here in terms of which experiment you're reading out. Uh, we will give you the next section has an exposures chart so you can sort of sanity check that like this is the exp when the experiment started did we get the expected um, number of exposures uh, on st in statsig our term exposures means number of unique users that have been enrolled into an experiment and so this should be a monotonically increasing um, number uh, and you can see by the end of this experiment we have about roughly 370,000 um, total users some of those users have been in the experiment longer uh, than others. Um, the next part is where it starts to get really interesting. Um, we will show you here the metrics and at StatSig uh, we really believe that um, that to really understand the effect of an experiment on your users and your product that you this can really cannot be captured in a single metric and you really need to look at uh, a wide range of metrics um, to truly understand the trade-offs and whether this is a net positive. And so we do this visualization in Pulse uh, where we'll show you what's one row per metric and we calculate uh, the lift um, between the difference between test and control for every single metric and add confidence intervals on there. And so in this case, we're looking at 95% confidence intervals. Um, we will color code anything that's positive as green, anything that's negative as red. Um, in terms of, and if there's a statistically ambiguous result, so a non-significant result, it will be color-coded gray, and you can still take a look at those. Um, when you hover over them, it'll show you a little bit of breakdown of how we uh, arrived at those calculations, including the mean and the standard deviation uh, for the metric uh, involved. Um, if you wanted to see a breakdown of metrics, provided you set your logging up correctly, you can actually click the um, plus, and it will show you a breakdown of uh, of a metric uh, by, a di by a single dimension. Um, this is a lot of metrics to look at, and if you're not used to this visualization, I have some advice. Uh, when you're coming into Pulse, you should really have an idea uh, what it is you want to look at. What is the context of the experiment? What is it that's changed, and what did you expect uh, to happen? This is related to your primary, to, to your hypothesis, and you should be at least looking for your primary effects. So what is it you expected to change and did it change? You should be looking for secondary effects. So I view this as sort of corroborating evidence that your primary effect is real. So, so if you, for example, if you have improved um, for an e-commerce website, if you have improved the, um, the checkout flow, you should really be seeing whether users are checking out more, whether they're completing their purchases, whether they're adding more items uh, into their purchase and whether they're coming back. Um, and then the last is sort of ecosystem goals. These are closer to top line business metrics um, that are really important. So revenue is usually a big one, retention rate, daily active users. These are several degrees removed from what might be the primary effect of your experiment. So it's, they're oftentimes a lot harder to get a statistically significant result on. But if you do see it, you should absolutely celebrate those. Um, and then the last one is any sort of results that were unexpected. Um, these can give you a little bit of, some of these unexpected results might just be false positives. Um, you are looking at a lot of metrics, so you should expect those. So those will usually look like un unconnected metrics. Um, for example, if you touch the purchase funnel, you wouldn't necessarily expect the uh, another feature on your website uh, to have changed in usage. Um, you should also be trying to see whether there's any sort of unexpected learnings that you that are that the results may show, and that might give you some insight uh, onto what else you can do to improve this experience. I um, mean, you should also understand what the trade-offs are. Very often, times in experimentation, you will have a good effect, and it will come with a little bit of a bad effect. Um, and you'll have to weigh: is that trade-off worth it? Um, do you need to rerun the experiment? Do you need to modify it to try to uh, work out that negative impact? Or is this a follow-up your team wants to take on in the next experiment? Um, that is StatSig in a nutshell. Uh, if you want to give it a shot, sign up at StatSig. It's free to try. Um, and we're here, happy to help. Thank you.